All right, let's review anatomy for the tibia. We want to insert into the proximal and distal ends of long bones. And you can see that, I'm going to deflect back this tissue. There's a nice um, uh, piece of fat pad there. So we'll talk about needle selection in a minute. That'll come into play. But in the, in the proximal and distal ends of the bones, that's where the red blood cells are made. So here, the bone is a little thinner and you can see it's nice and wide. We have red blood cell production here in the end of the bone and that's where the majority of the Haversian and Boltman canals reside. So um, they're already in use for red blood cells moving into the central circulation. We're going to use that system that's already there. In the diaphysis of the bone, this is where yellow marrow um, resides and there's less access to central circulation. So we want to insert up here um, just just medial to the tibial tuberosity. You can see I have it isolated just like I did on the other leg and how there's a nice wide space there. When I move distal um, into the diaphysis of the bone, you can see where it's wide up here where we want to insert. And if we move distal, the bone becomes very narrow and not just on this plane, but also on this plane, you can see that it becomes triangular and, um, and that there's a lot of bone and there's less cavity. And as I move up towards uh, the insertion site, you can see my fingers move wider apart. So here it's narrow, and then here we have a much larger cavity.